Well, they're under starters orders now, that's for sure. The bikes rev out, the gate dropped. Tommy has got a flyer. Tommy Searle takes the lead. And the crowd are going absolutely ballistic. The man on the Kawasaki, the leader. Tommy Searle clears that quad. Here we are a year on back at Matley Basin at British GP. Uh, I have a lot of good memories from, from being here. It's my first ever destination, it's my first ever GP podium. And last year, of course, I won a GP. So um, we're looking to have another good weekend this weekend. It's a great event. It's one of the best events of the year. The atmosphere, the fans, and especially being British, it makes it even better. I think we prepared really well for this race. We tried everything. We went here to do the starts, which are our weakest points this year. Uh, it's a one-of-a-kind race. You know, it's a race that I always look forward to for the whole year, and it's a race that um, it can do wonders for you. you. Know, the crowd being behind you, um, it's amazing what they can do. Like just the atmosphere that they give, the buzz that they give you. Um, how much happier it makes me to ride in front of them. So um, I just can't wait for tomorrow and make it happen in front of them again. It dates back to 2006, being at Matley, where it was his first podium. And then uh, obviously through them results, it, it got him on the, on the team for the motocross to nations, which was his first shot at that. And so, like I say, he, he's got great memories of this place, but hopefully today's and this weekend's a new chapter and hopefully he'll be able to add to that and uh, maybe get his first podium on a 450. It's not been the easiest year for me, we know it's been tough, um, but it's a year that we've been building on. Obviously I had a two year contract with Kawasaki, which has been great, so um, it's all just stepping up to put myself in a good position for the following year, but um, we've had some up and down results and hopefully we can have um, one of the better ones this weekend. Um, Sunday morning, just had practice, it's, um, it's started raining so the tracks are like a mud bath at the moment, we sort of survival out there but we'll see hopefully it'll dry up a little bit and um, one of them situations where you could get a good start and it could like, you know, it's like, it could go either way, you know, it's one that could work in your favour, it could work against you, it's just, uh, you have to be in the right positions at the right time and set yourself up correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Coming to the line. He had a tough day yesterday, but we know what Tommy can do. He is fired up, coming to the line now on the number 100. Let's hear some noise for Tommy, sir. The green flag is raised. The 15 second board goes up. Away they go! Into turn one! The Searle is six! Tommy Searle there absolutely fired up and he's pushing hard! Tommy Searle moves up another place oh. as he blasts past Sean Simpson. Tough weekend for me, like obviously it was a big weekend and one that I wanted to come out good and have a good result from something special last year and that it would have been great to repeat it this year but um, it didn't happen so I mean it is what it is, sometimes it can't all go to plan and uh, this weekend we had a lot of, um, yeah, a lot that didn't go to plan so um, yeah, lesson learned from it and move on. It's not been perfect. But, uh, you know, what don't break you will make you stronger. And, you know, he's got to take all these little things. He just needs to take them back to the drawing board in the off-season and uh, come back better and stronger next year.